Hello, Pioneers. Happy Pi Day 2022. It's truly been a groundbreaking year. It was a long year. Today, we are celebrating the third anniversary of Pi Network's official launch by sharing accomplishments from the last year while announcing some amazing features that we're releasing today and beyond. First of all, I want to extend a thank you to all the pioneers who have joined us on this journey to make crypto and blockchain development accessible to as many people as possible. The Pi community is absolutely the backbone of Pi Network. I will start with the announcements. But before I do that, there is a short message by the members of the core team, which this year has grown to over 30 people to make Pi's vision a reality. Happy Thank you guys. Over the past year, we have seen incredible network growth, more than doubling our network to over 33 million engaged pioneers. Nodes had a similar growth pattern with over 20,000 active testnet nodes and many more on the waiting list. We're very excited to make two announcements today. First, the mass KYC solution is finally being rolled out. Today, the KYC app on the Pi platform started allowing pioneers around the world to submit their applications on a large scale with the number of application slots expected to ramp up steadily. You will receive a pop-up in the mining app when you are eligible to apply. You can also open the Pi browser to see if the KYC application is available to you. Furthermore, we opened the KYC validator workflow powered by the Pioneer community itself. Once you verify your identity, you can apply, get peer vetted, and become a KYC validator yourself to join the workforce and help validate other KYC applicants from your country or region. Good validation work will be rewarded with Pi paid by KYC applicants. Even though KYC applications are open on the large scale, the KYC application slot rollout will be paired and balanced with the supply of human validation workforce to avoid the clutter of the system. That is a scenario where the speed of validation cannot catch up with the speed of applications. Thus, given that the core team is committed to scale the machine automation part as much as needed, the network KYC process now primarily depends on how many good human validators there are in each local community to process the human verification steps of the KYC solution. Luckily, the KYC solution was designed and innovated to scale through machine automation and decentralized human validation. For example, as more pioneers get KYC, there will likely be more human validators available to validate others. And remember, to maintain pioneers' data security and privacy, we have designed a special process where human verifiers will have access to limited, obfuscated data of the identity cards, only as needed, not having access to the complete data of a pioneer. Another major announcement today is that the new mining mechanism of Pi Network takes effect. Following the first step of new mining on March 1st, when the rewards issuance for formula was announced and the system-wide base mining rate dropped. With the new mining mechanism, pioneers will be able to mine and increase their individual mining rate by making newer, more diverse types of contributions to the network via Pi lockups, app usage, and node operations. And keep in mind that as mentioned in the new sections of the white paper, all formulas of the new mining are subject to some tuning. The new mining mechanism balances the network's need for growth and accessibility with longevity and long-term incentives. Together, the new base mining rate effective on March 1st and the new mining mechanism effective today mark the first complete implementation of Pine Network's new token model and mining design, which is a major achievement in the mainnet space. Pi Day, as our anniversary, is always a great occasion for Pi Network to review the past Pi year 
and look forward towards the new ones. So let's review major accomplishments since Pi Day 2021. On December 28th, the enclosed network period of Pi Mainnet blockchain launched. This enclosed Mainnet period allows time for millions of pioneers to pass KYC and for the community to build utility-based Pi apps. At the same time, it provides an opportunity for the network to test, gather data, iterate, and mature. Pi Network has achieved other significant milestones throughout the year as well. Testnet nodes operated by pioneers increased to tens of thousands, and the network also released key apps and features for its blockchain and ecosystem. Among these were the Pi Browser, a Pi Utilities platform for community developers, the Pi Wallet, which is a non-custodial wallet for pioneers to hold Pi, and the Pi Block Explorer, which is a web-based interface to track and research transactions on the Pi mainnet and testnet blockchains. In early 2021, we launched the Brainstorm app, a place for pioneers to propose Pi app ideas, join projects, and engage other pioneers to join projects. This feature later allowed us to host our very first Pi hackathon, where community developers created Pi apps with real use cases and utilities with community input. These apps are integrated with a new Pi SDK, which allows developers to communicate both with the Pi blockchain to create payments and the Pi servers to validate pioneers' consented information. Looking forward, this year will be even more exciting than the last, as we focus on pioneer mainnet migration and ecosystem building. Once a significant number of pioneers are KYC'd and complete their mainnet checklist, we will begin a mass migration of these pioneers to the mainnet blockchain. Mainnet migration is the next major milestone on the march to open network. With this, we hope to increase community app development so pioneers can then interact within the closed mainnet blockchain to bootstrap and help grow the Pi ecosystem. Pi apps are expected to be released on the Pi platform in the second quarter of this year. As the ecosystem develops, we will then look towards transitioning to the open network period of the mainnet, where the firewall of the enclosed network period will be removed, allowing any external connectivity to, for example, other networks, wallets, or anyone who wants to connect to the Pi mainnet. There is still a whole lot of work to be done before Open Network, but we are on our way. Thank you for being part of the Pi community and for celebrating with us on Pi Day 2022. Together, we're building something unique and world-changing, and we are so glad that you are part of the, com of the community and of this journey. Thanks again and happy new pie year.